guess so. Let me help you. Ah. Sit down here. Drink this. It'll make you feel better. So I just got home and I think I've decided that I am going to go to the tree lighting ceremony. So I'm going to chill here for just a little bit, keep my phone charged, um, and then I'm going to change into warmer clothes. Harrison. And then I'm going to head out and I'm excited because I don't, I don't think I've been to a, a tree lighting ceremony since 2020. I don't think. I can't remember um, if I have or not, but I'm excited. Yay, tree lighting! Guys, two weeks. I only have two more weeks left to work. <sighs> so excited. This is my favorite bookshop. And I just got a blind date with a book and book club book. This is my favorite vintage store in town, Cindy Lee's. Let's go. And there's the tree that's gonna be lighting. It's cold. <laughs> it's mostly windy though, not too bad. This is my favorite place to get like coffee or anything. And now I'm gonna get a hot chocolate. Is not worth the cold. In years past, the tree lighting ceremony has been a ceremony. <laughs> like, the someone comes out, gives Santa the key to the city, he flips the switch, we have a countdown, flips the switch, the tree lights up. This time, <laughs> Santa showed up in a... on a thing parked right in front of where I was sitting so I couldn't even see the tree. And they did the countdown and lit the tree and that was the end of it. <laughs> and, and they weren't even playing like Christmas music. It wasn't good. Not worth the cold. I sat there for like, I don't know, probably, probably like an hour and a half I sat there and I thought I had prime seating because it was right across from City Hall. I could see the tree. And then Santa came and just blocked blocked my view. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm actually kind of sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, now I'm home. I've got dinner in the oven. I'm still cold. Let's do Advent. Oh, also, I went to the bookstore. This is This is our December book club book. So I got that. Ooh, that spine. Yes. Um, so I got that. I'm gonna start that probably on Sunday. And then I got Blind Date with a book. And it's a fiction friendship day six. Day six is right next to day five. How perfect. Crack you open. Aw. He knew I was mad at him, so he gave me gave me a chocolate. It's also day three of Sockmas. Okay, I'm assuming that this pair is what's supposed to be in day three. So that's the one that we're gonna grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because all the others are lining up. Okay, <laughs> these ones are super cute. So I'm gonna wear those tomorrow. Right here. Now 
we making? What is that? I don't know what this is. Harrison, come on. It's a remote control. It's a remote control boat? Question mark? I, I have no idea. <sighs> I should have gotten the Harry Potter one. <laughs> I knew I should have gotten the Harry Potter one. I thought, like, because you look at this. There's, like, Mrs. Claus and Santa and gifts. I thought that this would be, like, more Christmassy. Let's see what my blind date with a book is. Friendship, art, and ambition that asks, what is the value of a meaningful life? This seems nice. I'm excited for this. Cool. Harrison is too. That's going to be it for tonight. I'm cold. I'm tired. And I'm hungry. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we are moving furniture. I am not looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it being over with and having my living room opened up again, but I'm not looking forward to moving everything, especially the piano. Whew, it's gonna be rough. Alrighty, see you tomorrow. Bye.